Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm Pete and I am really inconsistent with doing these videos. Um, but I wanted to do a bit of an update. I've got one older one, which is like three months old, which I want to get out in the near future so I can do an update on that. But what I want to do today is just go through some of the stuff that I've gotten Lego wise for the month of August. This has been spread out over a number of purchases and uh, different orders. So we'll get cracking with that just so we can see what I've picked up. Starting off with this three in one creator set, the, I think it was just called the Noodle Shop or Noodle Shop. I bought three of these with the intention of doing a modular style um, building, upgrading it. Um, I found some plans on Rebrickable, so I can't remember who the, it was. I did buy them, it was only like six bucks or seven bucks or something for the plans that actually used two of them. So I've got a spare win, one which I will um, part out at some point in the future and stay tuned for uh, um, that particular, I guess, rebreakable mock. Um, I'll do a short video on that once it's finished. But anyway, there was that one. Then moving along from there, a big set that I've been wanting for a while is the Hocus Pocus house. Um, it's just a really cool looking house. I thought I would grab this at the beginning of August so I could there was a specific gift we purchased that Lego did. So I finally got around to pulling the trigger on that. You can just see my head above it. So this one is on the list of need to build soon. I'll we'll get onto that one as well. The, uh, the gift we purchased that came with that one was the micro, like the micro scale uh, space sets. Um, I was a big classic space fan as a kid and I have I think all of the models that these were based off from my childhood so I wanted to get that one in there as that. I'm not sure where I'm going to put these when I'm done with them I'll, but I'll find out. Also from there I picked up the uh, Harry Potter set. This is the uh, does it have the name of it on there? Hogwarts Castle Potions Class. Um, I decided earlier on once that when they were going to be doing this big combination of all the sets for the most detailed Hogwarts as yet, I thought I would get these. I cashed in five those points at Kmart, so it cost me nothing. Anyway, moving on from there, I have three others. I need to get the Great Hall which isn't a cheap set at like 300 Australian dollars. Um, then we have Speed Champions, which I've been collecting these since I got back into modern Lego in, I think it was 2016. Um, prior to that, I'd just been recollecting some of the older stuff. The F40, great car, I've already built that, so the box can uh, go out from there. Then we also have the Camaro NASCAR car, which I haven't built as yet, but I'll get onto that, I don't know, maybe, maybe by the weekend, depending on how much free time I have and can actually concentrate on building, as my brain's not exactly working as it should at the moment. Anyway, there's that one. Uh, it's going to tip over, if I sit it there, it'll be sturdy. Also, whoop, I'm throwing it away. A couple of these Iron Man um, with Iron Legion sets, I'm not sure what it's called. Iron Man and Iron Legion versus Hydra Soldier. I want to build up a little bit of an Iron Legion army, so... I've got two of them so far, they're like $29 at Kmart. Is I think I'll get at least a minimum of 10, like I'd love to have 50 or 100 of these so I could have like a massive Iron Legion, but finances don't really 
allow that kind of crazy spending. So I'll start off small and I'll just gradually build them up as I get a bit of spare cash. Then we have, moving on from there, this Marvel, what's it, what's it called? It's just the X-Men X-Jet. Um, not really a big fan of this and especially when I saw the price, but it does have Wolverine, Rogue, Magneto and Cyclops as minifigures, which is really sort of why I bought it. Um, also, the Target were having them as a sale about 30% off, I think, which sort of made it kind of semi-worthwhile. Still, still a bit expensive for what it is. 50% would have been better, but I figured while I've got the opportunity, plus it was free shipping um, on the order, so I grabbed that one, and then I'll just chuck that down there. And lastly, today I have a Bricklink order that arrived. I think it's Australia's biggest uh, Bricklink store, but for all the projects I've got sort of on the go, I needed a whole bunch of plates, um, tiles, oh, sorry, you know, tiles, they're bricks. Um, I'm not even sure why I bought some of these at the time. I can't really remember. Uh, there's some snot bricks and some, uh, I guess, cones and round bricks there. Whole bunch of tiles. Um, which are varying sizes from 1x8s, 1x6s, 2x4s, there's a couple of 2x6s, some of the L corner shaped ones that are for a variety of things, uh, some 1x2 dark bluish grey tiles. I could never have enough of these. I could, if I had the cash, I'd get like a thousand at a time because I'm always running out of these dark bluish grey 2x2 tiles. Again, could use a thousand of them. White tiles in a two by two, black tiles in a two by two. A whole bunch more bricks, including some bright colored ones, which I want to kind of flesh out the up house. Um, and a whole bunch of other bricks. Some of them, I'm not sure why I've got like these sand green ones. Maybe that's part of the rebrickable model. I can't remember. Some like just plain tan one by twos, some clear windows which I need tons and tons of, some Technic pieces, a few Technic bricks, and a classic space tile as what was left over from the Galaxy Explorer. I've built the 928 and I've built the 92, I guess it was the 924 equivalent um, and I the leftover pieces I've put together my, about half of what I, I had to make the 918 uh, just going by the old or the smallest ship of the three so that's for that plus some of these blue and yellow plates in here I guess there's some, probably some blue swipes that's for it as well Anyway, I'll go through and I'll start building that and figure it out. So hopefully I can get that done, get my noodle shop and bike shop rebrickable mock done. And I guess the Speed Champions, Camaro and the Hocus Pocus house. They're the things that I really need to sort of get moving on. Um, yeah, so while I have a bit of spare time on my hands, I'll do that. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I'll try and get some more videos out in the next week or two before I travel off to see Iron Maiden and hopefully get to visit some Lego stores while I'm away. Anyway, if you made it this far, take it easy. Thanks for watching and I am over and out.